everyone so today this is the third lecture of my fortran tutorial uh, lecture series so today i will be discussing how to do simple arithmetic uh, in fortran uh, so let's open a file and now, now if you want to go in insert mode just type i and then let's start my start our program and always you have to notice that i am writing implicit non in everywhere where uh, i am uh, typing uh, when starting my code so you have to write implicit non whenever you are starting your code so that the fortran will understand that you, uh, you so that you can make understand fortran that don't assume any variable type so i will assign by assign the variables by myself so let's say let's assign a real variable let's uh, call a real variable a and also b and c so if you are want to want to initialize uh, two or three variables you can separate them by commas now let's say print now let's say you define c to be um, let's say take the input from reader enter enter a and b okay now uh, so to take input from user so you have to read that uh, from the compiler so let's say star comma star so your compiler should understand that you are you are uh, trying uh, to take input from user so for that you have to write write star comma star which will uh, which will take input from the user so let's say a comma b so first you have to insert a and then you have to input uh, give input b and then let's say assign c to be equal to a plus of b now let's print the value print star comma let's say a plus b is basically equal to let's say comma c now end, end our program end program now let's say run it let's open a new tab and now g fortran dot f90 dot slash error dot now you have to enter the, as you can see if i just uh, execute that by dot a dot out it just uh, is uh, the it is uh, trying to get the input from the user so let give some input let's say 2 and 3 so here is the addition of a plus b which is equal to 5 so this is a simplest program uh, uh, to uh, add, add is, to add two number now uh, let's say let's assign some other variable let's say d let's say e and f let's say now let's say d is basically equal to a minus of b and let's say e is basically equal to a by b sorry so this is mean uh, this is mean division okay so now let's say f is basically equal to mod of modulo of a comma b okay so it will uh, let's say one second let's say let's uh, just type mod of this thing it means it will give the uh, remainder from of a, uh, a divided by b and then let's say let's at, uh, let's initialize another variable let's say g so let's say g is basically equal to a star b now print one by one let's copy it so let's say a a minus b is basically i have assigned it like d let's say a by b is b is basically uh, e and a, a mod of b is basically my a and a star means the multiplication so multiplication is denoted by star which is basically g now just save this and now compile 
sorry so here now g cotran edit dot f90 dot slash a dot out so let's give three let's give five um, and three so as you can see a plus b which is five plus three eight and then a minus b which is two a by b if you divide the thing it you will get uh, five by three which is one point six 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 and a mod b if you divide uh, three by uh, if you divide five with three then the remainder is basically two and a star b is basically fifteen so this is these are the simple type of uh, arithmetic thing you can do now one uh, also you can do that uh, let's say u let's uh, let's initialize the variable u so u is basically let's say floor of a a by b let's say so let's print this thing print star comma floor of a by b which is basically u let's run this again let's say 5 and 3 so as you can 3 floor is basically giving you the integer value of that uh, this division so uh, the integer value uh, the process in the integer value which is the lowest one is 1 and if you type let's say selling then it will give the largest integer value let's say u f let's say mm, some w which is basically equal to selling of a by b it will give you 2 you can see it will be the largest integer so let's print it print star comma selling of a by b which is basically i have assigned this as w so this is basically w so let's save it and then just clear the terminal and run the program again compile you have to compile it so every time when you modify the code you have to compile it okay so otherwise it will not uh, execute the new part so it will give you the old output again and again so 5 and 3 let's say so as you can see so a plus b is 8 a minus b is 2 a by b is 1.666 and a mod b which is basically the remainder which is basically 2.00 and a star b is basically 15 which is the multiplication and floor function is the lowest nearest integer which is basically 1 by this division you can see that 1 is the lowest in lowest, lowest nearest integer and this is the largest nearest integer which is basically 2 so these are the some arithmetic operation and in, G, in fortran so in my later lecture i will tell you about how to write a subroutine and how to write a function in the uh, in fortran so in that way that will be very helpful for you and i have also uploaded many lectures on gnu plot and also on uh, some also on, also some lectures on physics which i have, uh, have tried to code some physics problems uh, in the fortran language so after seeing this fortran language fortran tutorial lectures you can always go through them so that you can uh, you will uh, that will be very helpful for you to understand the physics also physics part of the uh, this uh, lecture series so thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the video please share it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you